here and everything. Oh, by all means. I was trying to buy a whole bunch of stuff. How much is that? It's $16.44. Okay, here's $50. Thank you so much. Keep the change. Well, God no, bless. I don't want to do that. Uh, so. I don't want the thing. I don't want to deal with Bucky's. That reminds me of a horrible experience. You're rubbing it in. Good things everywhere. God bless. We're heading somewhere where there's a Bucky's controversy where a man, a popular guy at that, because the animal is like real, real popular. But a man was unfairly banned for his duck. A man was permanently banned from Bucky's convenience stores all over the world. Some folks are calling Bucky's reaction petty and condescending and truly, truly disgusting. In an honestly hilarious and charming video posted on YouTube, Hugh, can't pronounce his last name, brings Wrinkle the Duck into the world's largest location of Bucky's in Serville, Tennessee. That's where we're at. We're in Tennessee. Wrinkle is honestly rather a well-behaved and mostly confined to a stroller. Oh, I know that guy. He, he, I know that guy. He's from yeah, Florida. Yeah. Hugh allows folks to pet the duck, take pictures with the duck. The duck gives fist bumps and even hands out $2 bills to little kids. It's fair to say that Hugh is up to some antics a little bit, but he's not pushing the limits of what was going on. However, right. in a crazy turn of events, the way some of the staff handled the situation is why some folks are saying they will boycott Bucky's in the future. And I hate to say, being the truck driver myself, I am one of those folks that will never, ever go into a Bucky's. I, I don't care how it is. If it's a Walmart next door, that's where I'm at. Bucky's, a few. Anyway, the first employee that we've seen in the video is kind of nice, kind of. The gentleman shoveling the snow in the parking lot asked the questions about Wrinkle, gives the duck some nice pieces of duck food, I guess. Here, with a dog or a cat. It's very icy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was just freezing up. Yeah. Everything is going good so far. Then, at the six minute mark of the video, we see an employee that don't look too happy. She begins to scold Hugh for bringing a duck by saying, only service dogs are allowed in the store. To which Hugh replied that Wrinkle is a service duck. Service dog. And she's a service duck. Right. And continues to go about his way into the store. Again, she don't look too friendly. So that employee out of the way. Then another employee approaches Hugh and Wrinkle saying that pets are not allowed in the store. Hugh again informs the employee that Wrinkle is a service animal. And yes, I do have the credentials to prove it. The woman then makes a huge and possibly illegal full pause by asking what, what does the medical service that the duck is providing, which another customer corrects the employee by saying, I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to ask that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, but she is a service animal. I know she is a service animal? She certainly is. I can give you three forms of identification right now if you like. Yeah, her name is Wrinkle. Okay, may I ask what, what she does or what does she do? Well, well, yeah, I was about to say. I can't, I can't ask what, legally, what? Yeah. yeah. And that's just because it violates Health Insurance Privacy Act in America. So you gotta be very careful with treading those waters because trust me, they have three forms the here. ID, then, then, then that's all and it's uh, with the ADA. The only reason too that we don't have them. No, don't worry. Okay. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. So that employee is out of the way. 
Hugh continues to do his shopping, talking to guests, making friends, taking pictures, and again, giving the, giving the little kids $2 or whatever, whatever. While at the same time, he does, he goes around, picks up little items and puts in his basket that he's going to pretty much pay for and leave. So after some moments of shopping, another employee appears out of nowhere and tells Hugh that he must leave the store. Very good. Um, I, 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 uh, just, we're just shopping and experiencing the world's largest Yeah, property. and I love that. I love that. Um, you're more than welcome to stay here. The animals are not. There's no pets. Because your animals, even if it's a two-service animal, you have to be able to contain it. And if you don't have to be able to contain it, you can fly out. It's very nice. The animals just can't leave. They're all over. They're walking. Yeah, if you had it on a, like, contained. She is contained. Look at that, she's laying yeah, down and everything. Look at her, she's laying here. Yeah. She's not gonna fly away, and I can even do. I just can't have that. Same thing with, a, with an animal, if it was a dog, it, it would have to be on a leash. Can I put her on a leash and if that's you have okay? A leash for it, yeah. do you Maybe she can it? walk around on the floor? Uh, if, you, if you have a leash some, somewhere, somewhere to somewhere can take it, you just can There we go, and now she's on the leash. Yeah. I'm leaving. Here, come on, Rachel. <laughs> what so this time explaining and this is coming from that particular employee because it looked like three different employees got three different versions of the quote-unquote policy of the store this employee says the animal must be contained on a leash is a duck okay come up with Right. Come, up, come up with some bullshit. Right. Okay. He's a duck. But even if he is contained on the leash, he's contained in a stroller. Now, mind you, let's rewind back. The duck is well behaved. The duck is not running amok. The duck is not flapping his wings. The duck is not making the right. scene. Right. Okay. So let's fast forward to where this employee is trying to tell him that, well, the duck could jump out of the stroller, run amok all sorts of type of stuff now here's where right. hugh probably took offense everything else leading up to this employee was was a pretty good interaction you know what i'm saying but this employee i guess kind of touched a nerve because she's over here saying well the duck need to be on a leash so hugh i guess pretty much fed up with everything is getting ready to leave and he says to the lady like well here's a leash i got a leash i'll put an imaginary leash he took the duck out of the stroller and the duck literally yeah. followed him out of the store Like, the duck did not veer off the path. Wherever right. you went, the duck was right behind him. So right. you was trying to make an uh, hilarious point that, yeah, my imaginary leash right here and I got my duck on it. So that made that particular employee kind of mad. And then she ran and did what? Called the cops. Now, again, maybe a little bit too far gone but yeah. still but still yeah. this is the third employee that comes up with some something so hugh then makes his purchase of some water bottles and leave well at least he, he brought something me i probably brought anything but that's just me all right so yep. outside he was approached by the cop it's not my decision everything, it's, it's theirs and everything. It just says that you're banned from all Bucky's property and everything. Every single Bucky's? Yes, sir. So Every if you're caught on Bucky's. property and everything, you'll be charged with trespassing. Okay, you're and old he's on got it. the code and everything right there for it. Do you have any questions about it or anything? They yeah. just ask that you be banned from the property, okay? So yeah, I, I get it. I won't yeah. go back into a yeah, Bucky's. Yeah, I understand. And it includes all of Bucky's property, so that includes the parking lot, inside the store, the gas pump. <laughs> cops outside informed him that he has been permanently 
banned. They said that he was permanently banned from all Bucky's. Not just that Tennessee Bucky, but all Bucky's. He he can't go into no other Bucky's. Now at this point, I'm thinking it really doesn't matter to him. Like I, I don't think he was gonna go into another Bucky's. Well, I don't think he was gonna come back to that particular Bucky's. But being that they don't want him in all Bucky's, he, he was like, cool. Now, here's where things turn a little bit crazy for me. He was told by the cops that his duck was on camera nibbling a toy, which Hugh was going to buy before he was harassed by the last employee. Now, you can see that toy that he and the duck was playing with in the basket, clearly. So he already put it in the basket and that was going to be one of the items that he was going to buy but since he was harassed right. by the last employee he said fuck it let me just put this back grab a bottle of water and be on my way so Hugh was told by the cop that yeah they want you to buy or pay for the the item the lady actually came outside with the item to have him to pay for it bro <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to buy a whole bunch of stuff. How much is that? It's $16.44. Here's 50. Thank you so much. Keep the change. Well, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want the thing. I don't want to deal with Bucky's. That reminds me of a horrible experience. You were rubbing it in. You gave the lady a hot 50, and he says, keep the change. While at the same time, the lady is like, no, no, we don't do that here. He was like, no, keep the chain. He said, keep the 50 and the animal as this is only as a reminder of my horrible experience here at Bucky's. Now in a positive turn of events, the cops didn't have a problem with the duck. The, the customers didn't have a problem with the duck. Everybody else, the kids didn't have a problem with the duck. Only the store employees had a problem with the duck. That one, that one employee. <laughs> so Hugh let the officers pet the duck just to prove that the duck was, was liked by everybody. This is basically the centerpiece of, of Hugh is the duck because the duck is very popular, has over a million followers on multiple platforms. He also was the same duck that was in the marathon, believe it or not. Yes, the same duck. So I guess my question beds for the drivers, because I did a spotlight on the truckers that went in, they parked on, they bobtailed, they went in, they was going to do some shopping, they was going to get the Bucky experience, but the experience that they got was a horrible experience as well. They was told yeah. to put the items down and get out of the store. Like, we ain't want you buying nothing at all and get them wow. out of the store. So do you guys think Bucky's went a little bit too far? Do you guys think that Bucky's vindictive and mean-spirited? Or the employees? Yeah. Let's say employees, because there was like three different, three different employees with the last one being kind of condescending. Yeah. Is a permanent ban from all Bucky's is an appropriate response? That's not appropriate. And my last question. Do you think he have a case? I think he do. Honestly, I think he do. I, I think he have a case. Now, I, I talked to my truck driver friend that has a service dog, and she explained to me the difference between emotional support and service support is, is two different things. I, I don't know. All I just know is if an animal is deemed a service animal, then there is some legal ramifications involved with that. I don't know. I don't have a legal an or, or legal service animal or support animal, but I do know some people, cats, dolls, snakes, rats, hamsters, birds, parakeets, all of those animals, goats, pigs. Hell, I've seen a video that a, a truck driver actually had a big pig on his truck took him out of the truck and took him for a walk. So is that a service animal? I guess, I don't know. But anyway, 
there is some legal ramifications so i i would assume that this guy would have a case he took it to social media the news outlet cdl life shout out to them because that was the one that was brought to my attention this particular piece comes from i'm not sure where this particular piece comes from but, but shout out to the news for covering it. And I honestly think that Bucky's is going to definitely get some backlash. If not from the truckers, they definitely going to get some backlash from, from this one, considering how their employees at the biggest Bucky's in Tennessee treated this young man. So we, we will see, we will see, right? Yeah. That's all we can say. We going to see. Yes. We will see. And he's well known too. Yes, he is. Like I said, the, the duck, which is the centerpiece of Hugh, is definitely well known across social media. He has he has over a million followers on YouTube, a million followers on Instagram, a million followers on TikTok. Uh in too deep like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.